I got it. I got it. AC going off. I want to feel the change consume me. Fill me up so I could turn it in. I don't know. This is the string quartet version of Tool. And I'm listening to it on the BTR5, which is my IM test bench and should be everyone's IM test bench. I don't know how it does what it does, but it do. And in my ears currently are the cheapest IM I've reviewed in a long while. Cheapest and smallest. Like this box is adorable. Like how do you pay for it's $40. They're, they're they're not out yet. These are the um the Moondrop SSRs as that super spaceship reference. I don't know what that means. But I will say Moondrop has literally I don't think they've given us a full color waifu on a box and now they have and I've given you a, a, a brown hair, pink hair, pink it's enjoy this. Enjoy the whole like, there's nothing wrong with your day as long as you're watching the Z-Review. I, I, I believe in that. So, <clears throat> apparently this is a beryllium-coated dome diaphragm dynamic driver in-ear. Wow. Beryllium-coated dome diaphragm dynamic driver in-ear. So, uh, yeah, it does this. It's all it is. It's a single dynamic. And it's shoved in a liquid metal alloy housing. Which, let me, let me give another, like, one or two songs since before I pull them out to show you. But... They look like if a robot made IMs for other robots that had robot ears. They do not look normal. Like humans, what are those? Haha! <laughs> Something from Futurama. I'm probably gonna put them back in my ears. Okay. <sighs> look at these little things. They look like pewter. They look like really shitty pewter. Like if I just pull, if I completely pull one off the wire and everything, look at this thing. That is, looks like a little model hairdryer or something or like some part for a model train. And it's got like an exposed Allen key here to hold a cap on. This is wild. Like I didn't know IMs could be made like this. When I, when I reviewed the Tin T2s the very first time, I thought that was like an industrial tube shape with the thing coming off it. No, 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 no. This is fucking that. And like, this is where, this is the sound chamber here. And this is just, you could literally unscrew this if you wanted to and take it apart. That's fucking weird. And then, so you get two of these little hairdryer looking motherfuckers in your ears. And they come with a two pin. And a decent, like, I don't hate these single wires. There are some expensive wires. I do not like as much as these cheap wires. Plug that in. I'm using, of course, Tacony tips, which just fit right over the top of this, which make it look sort of like an IEM. Um, one of the beautiful things about a, a tiny, tiny baby, baby IEM is, uh, I said this with the Ico OH7s, is that this is bigger than the whole IEM. Look, just this, as long as the tips you put on these are tips you like, I don't care if they're Dakoni or a spin fit or a spiral dot, I don't care what they are. Once it's in your ear, there's no weight or anything to cause them to be uncomfortable. So they're just perfect. Um, I like the indication of the right side, but I literally put a rubber red washer on the wire. Like it just floats there like a, like a pool float. And that's it. That's the right side. Remember it. So, I mean, this, this is it. This is, there's nothing else to show you. There's an R on the, on the actual, I guess, liquid metal. I don't know why it has to be liquid metal. I guess to machine something this small would be harder to do. But, um, I, have you seen them enough? Can I put them back in my ears? Because I really do enjoy reviewing IMs while I'm listening to them. It's just a thing. It's like, do you remember what they sounded like? I do, but remind me. So the single uh, wire with also the round Moondrop logo, but this is a rubberized one, not metal. The more expensive Moondrop stuff, the S8s and things have metal there. This, see these are perfect IMs for the doors. Moonlight Drive by the doors is on and they're clear and they're wide. But the problem is, and there, there's, it's not a big problem. It's not a big problem. But if I had to draw with a piece of paper and a pencil the frequency response graph of these head, of these IMs, it would look like the following. Here's flat, 
And these look like this. Mm, roll off at like 20,000 hertz, a little bit more in the treble, a little higher. And then we're just gonna take a trip straight down, just straight down. And you're like, well, wh why? I don't know. But there's no low end. Like the low end is at, it's gone to the point of like, I have to mention it early on. So you can just stop watching these videos if you care about low end. I could also be a little bit weirded out because I just finished the OH7 review like an hour ago. And those things are bass fucking God. So everything's gonna seem like low bass, but no, it's 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 pretty much, these are perfectly fine if you don't expect low end. I'm, I'm just gonna shuffle through some more tracks because it's just, this is what I do. Skip ahead. Actually, let's get a dress, let's just pick one. Pick one. This is the FUBAR app, by the way. Like, I think they've figured something out though. Here's here's my thinking on the SSRs, other than being a, a, a Chevy that no one wants. I think they realized they could either make a bass EIM with meh treble and mid-range up top, or the opposite, take away the low end. If they cut out the low end, they could refine the, the actual driver to just do treble and mid-range way above its price range. And that's what this feels like. If this was a pair of speakers, I would tell you to absolutely, they're so cheap, buy them and add a subwoofer. Because what they're doing up top is just well worth it, and then you just need to add a sub. Unfortunately, right now on the market, there are no IM add-on subwoofers. Yet. Or ever. So, um... You're gonna have to just understand that these are a rolled off low end, but everything above like mid range, like mid range is, is solid, below mid range, mid base to base is just, sub base is not happening. You can tell they're supposed to be low end. It just doesn't show up. Dead mouse. Yeah, I could recreate these with a, with a really good solid I am. Um, I could recreate these by just taking the EQ and going, just, just getting rid of the low end. This might not affect you. You might absolutely be into this. Uh, here's the thing. Raise your hand in the comments if you are interested in this I am and you're actually glad it doesn't have like heavy low end because it keeps the rest of it very clear. Or, or, who is out there? Right. How do I do this? How do I organize this in the future, in the past? I'll put two comments, Zios, put two comments in the description or in the below. And one of them is gonna say, I love low end and I need it. And the other one's gonna say, I'm okay with a lightweight I am or a light, light base I am. And just upvote, don't downvote them, just upvote the one you are. We're gonna take it like a voting system. I don't think there's a voting system on YouTube yet. Because everything that's happening, you know, this half of a speaker Absolutely solid. Probably a better, probably a better high end like treble than tin T2s, which are like 10 bucks more, which is like we're arguing bullshit. But this is a much newer developed driver. So I'd have to say that in the grand scheme of things, tin T2s do enough low end, enough mid range, and enough bass that I think they're a complete entire package and everyone should go with that. If you wanted, if you were in that same rigid $50 price range though. And you're like, but Zeos, I don't really want low end. I just want a slightly better mid-range treble and not high treble, not like way up there. This still falls away from that. But I just want something that's more focused on like vocals and clarity and things like, this is your IM. This is your IM. There are IMs that do bass more than the Tin T2s, bass. And these are not as harsh as like the Tin T2 Pros and the Tin T3s, I was not, I was not sold on those. Those hurt in certain ways. These are just lacking something. These do nothing wrong with what they do have, but what they don't have, you sort of miss. Which is, this is, this is fine. This is fine. This could have been so much worse. They're so tiny. If you want tiny, if you want to spend twice as much on the tiniest IMs, I will link the Ear Studio ES, no, the Ear Studio HE100s which are in my, my box over there. There are the, those are minuscule. Those are basically attached cable. At least this is a detachable cable. 
I feel like that's the point of these. They could have made them an attached cable and even smaller, but the entirety of that extra bit is so that they can detach the cable when you want. So bravo, uh, bravo Moondrop, you, you have not disappointed me. Not exactly like a, an I am, I think everyone's gonna run out and buy, but I'm telling you for $40, as long as you can expect lacking in low end, everything else it does is pretty fucking solid. Like, like solid. Like we're fighting tin T2 for mid range and treble, you're doing a good job. And they don't take much power to run them either. I mean, I'm low gain on a BTR5. Lee just began. At least they have a signature. I'm so sick and tired of, of IEMs that just sound like every other IEM. These are unique in their own little space. Hero of the Day, Metallica, SM Live. The crowd sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All in the back behind me. Uh, let's get to the kick drums. Like there's real like deep guitar notes that are just not resonating like I know they should be. But this is like 90% of this, 80% of the song is, is absolutely better than $40. What can I am can deliver? And break me. Next. Lenny Kravitz, are you going to go my way? Screaming in my left ear. This. Where are you? Like that's just yelling in my ear and it doesn't really hurt that much. It's it's Lenny Kravitz, so it's you're getting that Lenny Kravitz sound, but it's not like, oh damn, my, my ears are bleeding. They've they've done a very good job of maintaining the acceptability of a forty dollar I am. Sunshine in the shade by the fix. See eighties music, eighties like like hair metal and pop was very bass light to begin with. So these are perfect for that. However, a lot of times when I listen to like 80s music that's like that, I wanna add low end to it so it sounds sort of more cohesive in my brain. So I look for bassier things to play it on. Here we go, here's the perfect thing. Absolutely beats a tin T2 in this. So, <sighs> James Horner, Begin the Begin, The Rocketeer, very quiet song, uh, basically like an acoustical, if you don't know this song, I wish I could just turn it on, but I can't, unless I Bluetooth to this. But it's very, I believe it's in sound demos, it's a sound demo song. And it's just soft and accurate, and I don't want any more. Let's see if I can make this play, hold on. Oh, that was the lens. I just, I'm just fucking the lens up, aren't I? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Whatever, you get it. That type of music is perfect. And that's that's basically it. There's not there's no accessories. There's not I took the box apart to make sure I didn't lose anything, and it's like, nope. You get a wire? Congratulations, you got the entire thing. So, Moondrop, I I, I would like to see this if they can keep this sound. Like this, this angle of sound, and then add like another dynamic to it, to throw the low end. They, this is why Moondrop is good. This is why the Moondrop like S8 weirds me out, and scares me, because this is probably like one of the ways that they're putting sound in one of their higher end drivers, and they're like, just sell them one of them, just just one of it. And if they sold both of it and three of it, and then they eventually have like a 19 driver IM that delivers all the wonderful things in the world. And um, it's currently available, by the way. Actually, it's currently pre-order pre-orderable on Shenzhen and Hi-Fi Go. I'll have to figure out who sent them to me because someone was like, "Hey, you want these?" And I'm like, it's "Fucking Moondrop, I am. Of course I do." And you cannot deny. I'm sorry, you cannot deny the waifus, even though that's a microphone. But she is wearing them. She is wearing them. If you get real close, you can see she's wearing them. So. Thank you, whomever sent it. I'll find out in emails later. And Moondrop, decent, decent Moondrop. I have the Tin T2 Pluses here, however. We gotta try those next and um, see if they work out. Oh, wallpaper available in the description. It's cute, it's cute. This is a cute one. This is, that's cute, you're cute, this is cute. Are you wearing underwear? Probably you are. It's all, it's all good in the hood here. Um, if you wanna support this channel and uh, 
the other channels I run, like the unboxing channel and part of the cooking channel, and the live streams, because there's not enough bits being thrown, ever, uh, please support the channel via Patreon or Subscribestar. Both have the same benefits, whereas the $5 tier allows you to see your videos early, let you ask me questions in the messaging systems of both those places, and participate in the yard sale. Uh, I'm tempted to not, I would like to yard sale these, but I mean, they're not, they're pre-ordered and I'm not sure I'm allowed to. Although by the time this video comes out, they'll be available. But uh, my patrons will get to see them first. Remember that, they're gonna have to see it before it's even available. So i am probably yard sale these. Maybe I'll bundle them with something else. I have a bunch of USB, you know, Bluetooth devices and things like that. I can just throw them in there. Because $40, you know, why would you, what are you gonna save? We can sell $31? Um, but yeah, yard sales happen from the 1st to the 10th of every month. I sell things that either I've bought or people have donated to the channel or companies were sent and they don't ask for it back and I just don't need more shit. Um, so yeah, there's that. And for $10 a month, you get into the private behind the scenes uh, early access uh, Telegram chat, which again, available on both platforms, Subscribestar and Patreon, depending on which one's politics you want to get behind. All I know is Subs Subscribestar has got an adult dot Subscribestar and it's it dirty there. I like it. Um, anyway, so there's that. Support the channel, $10 tier. Check out Hi-Fi Guides. Check out the Hi-Fi Guides forums. We should have mods there that are making new threads every time I review something. So there should be, by the time this video goes public, certainly public, there'll be a thread for this. And you guys can go in there and say like, I got the robot IMs that look like robot parts. Like if I pulled these apart and dropped them in like a bucket of my grandfather's basement back in the day, it would have blended in with every other fucking lawnmower bit and fucking bobble and doodad. Which is kind of interesting. The pewter look. Anyway, her in the download. Everything good. I'm done with this. Maybe I'm going to make a steak. Happy 4th of July. By the way, that's today.